Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. Uh, today I would like to show you a MATLAB simulation of a grid connected PV system. So this MATLAB simulation of a 250 kilowatt grid connected PV system, uh, which of course simulate the behavior of solar power system connected to the electrical grid. So this system include a lot of components uh, it includes a PV uh, uh, array consisting of a uh, lot of panels connected, the inventor, and a lot of components to allow the connection of with the with the grid. The purpose of this simulation is, uh, of course, to the, the demonstrate the interaction between the PV array inventor and the grid in the various conditions, of course, various conditions of radiance and, and temperature. Okay. It also shows how the system handles power generation and distribution to different loads okay, throughout the grid infra uh, throughout the grid infrastructure. Okay. Let's start firstly with the key element and their role in the PV in the PV system or in the PV plant. Start firstly with the the first part, which is uh, the PV the PV array. In this uh, PV array, PV array consists of multiple string of sun uh, power modules. These are uh, eighty uh, each parallel string. Each string with seven PV module connected in series, okay? The setup is designed to generate, of course, DC power for, from uh, solar, solar irradiance. Input parameters include irradiance in watt per square meter and temperature in degree Celsius. These two parameter, parameters are uh, directly affect the output power of the PV, the PV array. The next part of the PV plant is the inventor. The generated DC uh, power is converted into AC power using a three-level IGBT bridge inventor. Okay. The inventor, of course, as you show in this picture, is controlled by uh, uh, a control block, okay, this, this one, which ensure that the DC to EC conversion is done efficiently and match the grid requirement. Okay, so we have the PV array, which generates DC power, and we have the inventor, which converts, we convert the DC power into EC power. If you want to take a look on the PV array, click or double click on the block, the PV array to show more details about the uh, the PV array. Okay, as we said, here is the number of string and here is the number of uh, module in series. This is the parameter or the individual parameter of the of each panel. Okay, this is the power of each panel. This is per module there. You could also, if you want to to generate the IV curve of the PV the PV plant. Click on plot to get the uh, shape of current function of voltage or power function of voltage. This is the the value for the PV plant not for the PV module. This is the current and this is the, the voltage. Okay. You could have more details if you want to uh, to take a look in this in this block. So uh after the the control the inventor control they also uh, manages the maximum power plant the so-called mppt 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 uh, tracking which of course optimize the power output of the pv array by adjusting uh, of course uh, adjusting its operating points in response of uh, the variation of uh, radiance, the variation of, of temperature as well. Okay. Then we have the, 
the transformer. Okay, it says the, the transformer. Of course, the AC power output uh, from the inventor is passed through a step up transformer, which uh, of course the, the objective of the transformer is to raise the voltage level for uh, a spe specific uh, application for transmission, for example, or for distri distribution. This is also the transformer. Okay, this this transformer uh, in this case will rise the voltage from uh, twenty five kilovolt to one hundred and twenty kilovolt uh, value. Okay, we have uh, also some uh, the so called feeders. Okay, we have uh, two feeders. This is the first one, and this is the uh, the second one. The first one is. Uh, uh, 14 kilometer long feeding of uh, about uh, 30 uh, megawatt okay and 2 uh, megabar and the other is about 8 kilometer long feeding of 2 megawatt megawatt load these feeders represent uh, typical grid connection load in real world uh, scenarios we have also here a grounding transformer uh, of course to stabilize the uh, neutral points and provide grounding to ensure the the safety in the in the pv pv system okay we have also uh, loads, okay? We have a lot of loads. The system include uh, the blocks of, of loads uh, to monitor the real performance uh, in the system in, in, real, in real time, okay? Here we have some scopes, the green scopes. Of course, show K metric, uh, such as uh, DC voltage, Okay, we have also uh, AC voltage, we have DC voltage and AC voltage. Okay, we have also a current, we have irradiance measurement and power, power measurement to uh, detect and to uh, see each parameter in the, in the simulation. Here you could uh, double click in this block to show more, more parameters. Okay, so uh, as I said before, the purpose of of this of this simulation is, of course, um, uh, to demonstrate the interaction uh, between the PV array, okay, which is composed of a lot of components, the interaction with the different components in the grid with the inventor, with the transformer, and also with the, with the grid. Uh, start, or let's start the, the simulation. Click here to start the simulation. I think it will take some time to be simulated. Okay, here is the uh, advancements of the simulation. Here is the different components. We have a lot of, lot of components. We have a uh, lot of input in order to, to have an, 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 a wall uh, overview of the, of the simulation and the interaction between the different components of this uh, grid connected PV system. Okay. Nice. So this simulation is done. Let's click on the, the scope to show 
some result double click on this scope to show the result here is the, the result in this chip the result of irradiance of uh, the variation of uh, direct voltage and the variation of the output power of the clip v system okay we can uh, of course correlate between irradiance and power if there is irradiance there is power if there is not irradiance the power is about uh, it's of course uh, uh, very very low compared with the moment in there is some irradiance okay it show also the different uh, other components double click here to show the other component there is the variation of current and the variation of of voltage this is the, the variation of the different component the variation of the different uh, parameters of the pv of the pv array here you can double click to show more parameters each parameter with a special scope to uh, effectively detect the different different parameters of the PV system. So uh, this is a general of overview of for this uh, simulation. If you have any question or uh, would like to obtain this MATLAB simulation, feel free uh, to reach out. Simply leave your email in the comment section below and they will send you the, the details. Thank you for having me today and see you later.